With wind speeds of over 185 miles per hour, Hurricane Irma is the most powerful Category 5 hurricane ever recorded in the Atlantic Ocean, and it's beginning its path of destruction. Welcome back to What's Trending, I'm Shira Lazar. Be sure to click like on this video and subscribe for more. Just two weeks after Hurricane Harvey hit Texas, Hurricane Irma is set to be much worse. Harvey grew into a Category 4 hurricane when it made landfall in Texas with winds of 130 miles per hour. Irma is already a Category 5 hurricane, currently on the path through the Caribbean to Florida. But what is really the difference between a Category 4 and a Category 5 hurricane? Besides the fact that it just seems much worse. UN Climate Action tweeted this animation showing the escalation of damage from a Category 1 storm up to Category 5. Damage from a Category 5 means that a region might be uninhabitable for weeks or months after. Irma's wind speed is now the second most powerful wind speed ever recorded. Irma has already hit islands in the Caribbean such as St. Martin and St. Bart's. Storms and coastal flooding have destroyed many homes and buildings already. Irma is the first Category 5 to make landfall on many of these islands since records began and is now bearing down on Puerto Rico. Irma is not only more powerful than Harvey, it's gigantic. According to the BBC, Irma is currently the size of the state of Ohio. Irma also could be downgraded to a Category 4 by the time it arrives in Florida, but the scale of damage it wreaks in its path is yet to be seen. Remember, Harvey was a Category 4 when it directly hit Houston. The storm dumped nearly 52 inches of rain on Houston, almost three feet more rain than Hurricane Katrina. The rain was literally off the scales, as the National Weather Service tweets. So much rain has fallen, we've had to update the color charts on our graphics in order to effectively map it. And the city of Houston was right in the middle of that record-breaking rain. While it's very unclear where Irma will go, forecasters are saying that it might hit Miami this Sunday. There's no official evacuation order yet, but some are already taking precautions. Floridians have been stocking up on food, supplies, and drinking water. More than a few Florida residents have been helped by Irma. Not Hurricane Irma, this Irma. Michelle Kaufman tweets, at Publix prepping for Irma, check out grocery bagger's name. What are the odds? She assured me not all Irmas are bad. That is so cute. Please stay safe during Irma. Irma? One person who decided to weather the storm at home is mega billionaire Richard Branson. Virgin CEO Richard Branson is weathering Irma at his private island getaway, Necker Island. Branson, along with some guests, have prepared the home to weather the hurricane as he's done before. Before hitting the Virgin Islands, Branson tweeted his plan for dealing with the storm. Expecting full force of Hurricane Irma in about four hours, we'll retreat to a concrete wine cellar under the house. What's more useful during a catastrophic flood than a basement full of alcohol? So are you in the path of the storm? What do you do to stay safe? Let us know in the comments below. One Twitter user noticed that people were trying to take advantage of people fleeing the storm. Lee Dow tweets, shame on you Delta, jacking from $547 to over $3,200 for people trying to evacuate responsibly. Amazon has also been called out for surge price bottled water due to high demand. Packs of bottled water that cost less than $4 are selling for $20 to $30. And if you think that Irma is the last big hurrah of hurricane season, well, you are wrong. Right behind Irma is Tropical Storm Jose, which is expected to become a hurricane in a matter of days. For more stories, go to whatstrending.com. Stay safe.